morning, good morning, rise and shine. You know, sometimes we keep our mind so much on us, on what's happening to us, what's going on in, in our world, that we really forget to be spiritually minded. And you know, in Colossians 3.12, it says, if you were raised with Christ, seek, and listen to what he says, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting and the right hand of God. And then in verse 2, it says, set your mind on the things above, not on the things of the earth. That's Colossians 3, 1 and 2. I want you to know that it's it's sometimes not easy to do that. We have to train ourselves. We have to train our mind to think about the Holy Spirit that's actually living inside of you. He sees everything you do. He hears everything you do. He's living inside of you. So you, he is around you all the time, but we don't always feel his presence or sense his presence. So we have to train ourselves to do that. I find that when I start praising and worshiping the Holy Spirit in Jesus, that his presence starts coming up ever so strong in me. Then I can start thinking about what God is doing in my life, what God is doing, and what, and what is he, what does God want for me to do today? These are the things we need to start training ourselves to, to think on spiritual things, not on earthly things. Sometimes we're way too earthly bound and we're tied to the earth and the news and the media and our phone, and we're not tied into spiritual things. But the Lord makes it very clear. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you. If you need healing in your body, let me pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just come to you and I just praise you and worship you. And I want to think about the heavenly things. I want to think about, I know that you're a healer, that your word says you heal. So, Lord God, I'm praying for shoulder problems and for rotary cuff problems in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for neck problems to be healed. All, all information on your neck and shoulders have to leave now in Jesus' name. I pray for diabetes, that it has to leave and bow its knee to the name of Jesus. I pray for prostate and liver cancer in the name of Jesus. And all this has to leave your body. It is not of God. I thank you, Lord God, that we have clarity of mind. All depression and anxiety disorders have got to leave that body and mind in the name of Jesus. Because you are the, the righteous of Christ. You are a child of God. And healing is yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.